Hi, my name's Becky. I'm running in the Show Your Colours campaign team. My main thing about the Students' Union is that it is, one thing I've never felt is that it is actually a union. A union is supposed to be a place that, you know, fights for you, is your voice. Um, and what I've always found about my Students' Union is, and I hate to say it because I love it, it tends to be a bit of an exclusive club. And this usually surrounds the exec officers. Union council should be made public. It should be announced. Students should be able to come there. They should be able to, you know, translate their ideas, get them across, um, input on things, find out about events that are coming up. We just don't know what's going on. And there's certain things within the union that drive me a little crazy. This is your place, and we've got advertisements for businesses up and around but nothing really other than in the eye zone about what's happening, what's going on. This is something that really worries me. Um, throughout my four years at the University of Huddersfield I have always fought for my students, it has been my passion. Um, it's what I do. I fight for student rights, I fight to make people's lives better, I fight to stop things that shouldn't be happening so that everyone can have a fair and equal chance. It's time for our union to become a union. Our university has just excelled. It's gone up in many surveys, it's gone up on the league tables, and I don't feel like we have a students' union to match. And a lot of it is because a lot of things get lost in perhaps the battle and in communication. And with just a little bit more cooperation and good communication, we can solve a lot of problems, we can save a lot of time. Um, not a lot of people know what each other department's doing and sometimes it's very tricky to get anything organised. Um, I think that's a general management problem, but hopefully that's one that we can solve and um, work towards just a bit more organisation, a bit more structure within. Um, one thing I'd like to do is just create a kind of transparency around the whole thing. I think things are very hidden and students don't really know what's going on or how to engage. I want all of the um, executive officers to do a regular blog update. I don't want them just to interact with you through the internet. I want to have our sabbatical officers going out and around campus. I want them to arrange to come to meet you where you're comfortable. Um, for instance, nursing students will come up to the Harold Wilson Cafe. I know you guys don't have a lot of time, so we should come to you. Uh, union Council has always been a big issue of mine. When I first started as a student in the first year and into my second year, um, Union Council was a big thing. Students could come to it, perhaps it wasn't as well advertised as it could be, but people were aware it was happening and when it did happen, it happened in a very structured way. People knew what it was about, knew why they were doing it, there was a reason for it. Um, every one of the execs would get up and say, right, this is what I've done this month, towards my campaign promises and the things that I said I would do and basically they're held accountable if they don't do these campaign promises. Like for instance, if a candidate promises to sort out um, parking, well if it's not sorted out then they've broken a promise. These things need to be accounted for. I think the more students don't get what they promise, the more they're going to separate themselves from the Students' Union. We're supposed to be there for you. I have been in charge of societies, I've been a course rep, I have been a joint school rep, I have been to school boards, I have been to every union council, apart from this year when I've had no idea when they've been on and I work in the students' union. As for the new building, I know a lot of the decisions have already been made. Um, things are already quite set in stone, so that being said though, it is still a definite consideration this year. Uh, it's something that I have been in on since we first got announced um, as a part-time officer, obviously. Through the last four years, I've seen through every single initiative that the Students' Union has brought up. So I'm quite well versed in the goings-on and how things affect our students. I still want to personally help students. I don't want to be a figurehead and I don't want to be locked in an office because that, is, that isn't who I am at all. I want to... What I love is feeling like I'm a part of this university and a part of the students' movement. And I want to get as many students as possible to feel that feeling. 
to go home at the end of the day and feel like either you've made someone's life better or you've really contributed to something or you've created something and why would I want to stand and hover above that? I want to be a part of that. I want to come out to your events and be a student. Um, I really want to spend this next year making it all about you. I, I don't want to do anything else. I want to be full time for the students, as I always been, but as a full time officer with a bit more power, a bit more responsibility, and a hell of a lot more time. Thank you for listening, and you can always pop in and say hello to me anytime. Yeah, just come and say hello, have a cup of tea, have a chat, tell me what you want, tell me what you think, because that's what it's all about. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, and show your colours, how does it feel?